Hello, welcome back. This is going to be a tutorial video on how to set up a Google Meet on dual screens. So how to split that up and arrange it so you have a main desktop where you can teach from. And then uh, I'm looking up at the big screen in my classroom and how to make sure I can keep sight of everyone that's still in the meeting, yet share the main desktop that's on my computer screen that I, that I see you on right now. Okay, so here's how it's done. So here we're looking at my desktop and we have a Google Meet in the session. I have one participant that uh, happens to be on an iPad, which is over there. And so once you have that squared away and you've entered a meeting, uh, you'll want to make sure that, to pull this out and put it on your other desktop. So when that happens, Welcome back. This is a quick tutorial on showing you what my perspective is on the dual screen situation in my classroom for a Google Meet. So a couple things that you'll have to do. Uh, you'll need to go to your settings in your uh, Google Meet session and make sure that you turn off uh, screen mirroring screen mirroring has this effect so you'll want to make sure you go to your system preferences up here and then go to uh, let's see it's behind here oh yeah here we go the arrangement and you'll see that it says mirror displays you'll want to uncheck that once you do that you'll see the effect here so now this desktop is called desktop number one and this is a second desktop number two so anything that I uh, pull from this screen onto here is going to be separate all right so Hello once again. Once you have your webcam set up, you'll need to make some adjustments on your PC to make sure that it's going to work properly with your Zoom. So let's look at that closely. On a Windows 10 PC, click on the Windows icon on the bottom left hand side and then go over to the uh, Settings tab. Click on Settings. Uh, you'll want to go to the display tab so click on that then scroll down your screen in order for this to be used properly with a dual uh, monitor situation with your zoom meaning that your students will be on uh, the large screen up on the on the wall for the overhead projector and on your main screen of your desktop you'll be able to teach from there so Click on the drop down menu under multiple displays and keep everything else the same. Don't worry about all that. So go to the multiple displays area and you want to extend these displays. That's going to make this particular change occur. Once again, the difference is that no longer is uh, this content on my desktop the identical content that I have up on the big screen. So make sure that you are uh, using this situation and the rest is going to be the exact same for your, uh, for your Zoom setup that Mac users have. Okay, that's it. Well, here's that effect. I have a Google Meet going on and I wanna move that Google Meet over to uh, this session here. So I'm going to pull out this tab away to a separate window and I'm going to move it to the right. So it then creates a large version of that Google Meet on this screen. And on here I have access to everything I need and I can resize this window. When I have, you know, 30 students plus in this uh, window, I will be able to see everybody from this viewpoint. Uh, I'm on a profile view because the other participant is my iPad which is over there okay so 
that's the perspective you'll see when you guys are doing this with your students live. Uh, as long as you have that going on, then you can take and present. And you hit the present now button down at the bottom over here. Uh, let's click on that again. And then you can choose a particular tab from your main screen, which I highly recommend. And you choose that from a list. So if I have an open uh, presentation that I wanted to show them, then I'm gonna click on that presentation and share it. And now I'm sharing this screen with them from that particular tab. And I want to, let's zoom out just so you can see the whole screen. And I want to uh, hit the present button on this. So it goes full screen and I'm presenting to the whole group. So it's outlined in blue because I'm sharing that particular tab. This is also the best way to share computer audio from say a video that you are playing for your class. It works much better if you share a tab instead of the entire desktop. So use this function only, all right? That's it. Easier said than done, I guess, right? But go ahead and pause and stop and rewind and experiment. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.